Do you watch YouTube more than you watch TV almost? Well, I'm going to share some of my favorite retirement channels, YouTube strategy channels, how to create a video channel, and just some of my fun channels that I follow on YouTube. I probably watch YouTube more than I watch TV. And the recommendations that you guys have made in the comments of channels that I should watch have been so good for me. I just want to pay it forward. I think people deserve their flowers. Hours, and there's creators out there that deserve to be seen by everyone. And I want to share those people and celebrate those people. I'm also going to link their channels in the description of this video. And I know I'm going to forget some and I may have to go back and add channels in the description as we go. But I hope you enjoy these channels as much as I have enjoyed these channels. And thank you to these creators for sharing your story and helping people out. You have given me the courage to be able to share my story and why I put some of this stuff out online to get the criticism I do. I don't know sometimes, but the rewards have been so much greater than the criticism. So let's take a look at some of my favorite channels. Since most of us use our phones for YouTube the most often. I'm going to start with my phone first and show you what I have that comes up on my phone. So this is my home page. And if you look down here, you can see this is the home page. And this is what the algorithm is giving to me right now. Yes, I am some subscribed to some of these. I am subscribed to Omar. I'll talk about him in just a minute. I'm not subscribed to that page. I'm not subscribed to that page, but that is a retirement page if you'd like to subscribe to that. I am going to talk about Camp Fi because that is one of my favorites. Then I go over here and these are my subscriptions. If I click on this button, you scroll up to the top. These are all the people that I am subscribed to and then the little button whenever they share something new. So if I want to like pick somebody that's on there, these are all the people I subscribe to. I don't watch all of these people. I've just subscribed to them so that I remember that they're there, but I don't necessarily watch all of them. Now, how I use this is I get ideas on my phone, just scrolling or whatever, but if I want to watch something later, I click on these three dots right here and I save to watch later. And then if I go to my my page, like my page, person down here at the bottom. This is my watch later down here at the bottom. So if I click on that, it shows all the videos that I want to watch. So if I come to a video that I don't have time to watch, I'm like, oh, I want to remember that. I save it to watch later. Some of them I watch later, some of them I don't watch later. It just depends. One last thing I want to show you if I go back to my home page right here. Up at the top, there are these categories that I think are specific to you. And if you click on these, they'll give you a, so I've looked at monetization. Obviously I've talked about that. So trying to figure out monetization, I've talked to you guys about saving money. So if I clicked on that, it would give me a feed of people on saving money. Now these, three or these two I'm subscribed to this one I'm not subscribed to I'm not subscribed to this one but you can see that if you click on these up at the top then it'll give you more options to to scroll and look at so that's just how I get a lot out of YouTube on my phone by using all the tools I almost never click on shorts I've been trying to add to my community tab here and that might be something that you don't realize that people have is a community tab. My community tab is right here and if I click on that, these are just like Facebook post type things and this was to watch my video about substitute teaching. I also posted the rainbow that showed up. 
I posted welcome to the partner program. I am going to post my coffee recipe, I think, on community, maybe shorts, because a couple of you have asked about that. But that's how I use my YouTube app. So let's dive into my computer and the channels that I follow. I'm going to start with my channel and then I'm going to show the channels that help me with YouTube and video creation then my retirement channels and then I'll try to click on just some of the fun channels that I watch just for the heck of it that maybe some of you watch but since I use this more than I even watch TV and maybe you do too I do pay for the premium version of this of YouTube so I don't get ads when I watch YouTube <laughs> which I don't know if most creators do that or not, but that's what I do. All right, here's my channel, and you can see here videos. Usually this is where I go, and these are my videos in order. And you can scroll through people's channels to see different seasons of their life. And kind of when I started this part was two months ago. And this was my retired version back whenever I was getting ready to retire. But these are all my principal videos down here. So I've kind of been all over the place on my channel. Some people won't follow you if you have multiple randomness on your channel. But anyway, so th these are my current videos in order. The shorts, did I do shorts? I have two shorts just for fun. I actually, I think I had three shorts, but I had to delete one of them because it has nothing to do with anything and it was pretty viral. Playlists, these are the playlists I've saved. I don't know if you can see those or not. I didn't realize that was something that you can see, but there's my playlist. And I already showed you this on my phone, but this is my community tab and where I can post like I would post on Facebook. It should show up in your feed on your phone, but it may not. So there's that portion of my page. So let me jump into the YouTube people that I follow. Think Media I have followed for years and they have 3 million subscribers and over 2,000 videos. They are the ones that have taught me, like I think you're one video away or how to grow on YouTube. That's their goal here. So he has all the YouTube stuff. The next one is Omar. Now Omar used to work for Think Media and I'm not sure how that, how that works now. I don't know if he still works for Think Media and he's just a channel for that or if he's now his own place and he does his own thing. I'm not really sure. But same thing, his is um, videos that go along with monetizing, making a business, video creation, camera settings, lighting settings, all the things. So this is his channel. Nolan Molt also worked for Think Media and he's now on his own. And he talks about being fired from his job, but I still think he's a great creator if you wanna grow on YouTube. Virginia is the one that really got me started when I started doing two or three videos a week. She was doing a video a day. I think she did for 14 days and I love her and I loved her style I wanted to be her but then I had to realize okay she has a background in television news I think she was like a new a television news reporter or anchor I'm not that I'm not gonna be her but I wanted to be her hers are really good and short and she makes really good points about how to create videos that's reasonable it makes sense alexa also got me started thinking that i could do something on youtube again remember i didn't think i was gonna be able to do anything on youtube for by the end of the year so this has been amazing to me she is a person i think over 40 or my age or that's her audience a lot of the people that i watch are my age between 40 and 60 or older just because obviously that's what I'm interested in right now. But she started 10 weeks ago, I think, has monetized her channel, has created a business with her channel, has a coaching program. All of this she's done within 10 weeks, I think. I, I could be wrong, I may have to look back. But anyway, hers is about growing on YouTube as well. Azul, I think is how you say his name, but he has some really good retirement information that's not always financial. What 
was happening was most of the retirement information I was getting was only financial and not life. And I believe his is a combination of that. I like his style. I like the slow style and not the whiz bang crazy style of YouTube. And most of these people are calm presenters and calm on YouTube. It's not over stimulating to watch them. Let's talk about Silver and Solo. I love Jen. I actually saw her on an interview, I think for vidIQ about her channel and how she got her channel going, but I actually enjoy her because she's another calm creator. She's around my age. She talks about living alone and how to live alone and she's inspiring and keeps me going because sometimes when I get into my doomsday thinking and I think about being by myself, I never ever thought I was going to be alone and divorced and single this long for nine years and now retired. And watching her gives me hope and she's inspirational and she gives tips on things that you need like equipment or things that you need when you're living alone. So she's amazing. Camp Phi is a retreat and it shows that it's a retreat right here. And these people are talking about becoming financially independent. That's what Phi stands for. There's a movement, FIRE, Financially Independent Retire Early, that I see on YouTube every now and then. But I've only watched a couple of these. I watched The Unseen Side and I think I mentioned some of her stuff in one of my videos. And then I watched what I learned from Losing It All and he has a really funny dating story. Before It's Too Late is a couple in Kansas City, so not far from me, and they are around my age. I think that they are remarried. This is like their second marriage, and he talks about when he lost his job at our age, and now she just talks about how she lost her job, and they were going through a series of how to apply for jobs, what to include in your resume so that your age doesn't stand out, what interviews are like, and they've just recently done a retirement series. They're great. Joe Kuhn is another calm creator that talks a little bit about both money and mental health in retirement. He has been retired for I think six years, so a while. Retiree is me is who I would love to be because he does such simple videos. I think he's from Canada. He walks and holds, I think, an Osmo stability stick or whatever and records while he's walking back from the coffee shop every day. He probably doesn't have to edit. Look at his thumbnails, how simple his thumbnails are. But look at him, he's just walking and he's just talking, walking back with coffee and just telling stories. Holy Schmidt is a little more energetic sometimes. He has a little bit more money talk on his, but he's an excellent retirement resource. And then Nichols Retirement came up because he used to be a principal. The video of his that came up for me, what one of them was mean old teachers versus nice new teachers. And another one, I'm gonna scroll for a second, the day I stopped the school apocalypse, but I didn't realize he had so much fishing and things like that. And I don't watch those. Like I don't watch the, the fishing and stuff like that. And I wasn't subscribed, but I'm subscribed now because I want to see like what he has. I have more channels and more come up in my recommended, but those are my main retirement channels that I have been following. There's more that I can't remember right now and I'll add those as I go. Maybe I should do like a, a recommended channels once a month or do like a series and put that together. And now for my guilty pleasures YouTube channels. I don't know if you can see my subscriptions but they're down the left hand side of my screen. I think my picture is going to be in the way of that. But I love the New Heights 
podcast, and I've liked it before Taylor and Travis. I've watched it for a couple of years, and it's just funny. I grew up with two brothers that played football, and just the goofiness of brothers, it reminds me a lot of my brothers and their friends and how they acted all the time. So it's just like nostalgic to watch this one, and they're just hilarious. Another one is Caroline Winkler, and it's just a day in the life stories from her. She's been an interior designer, but mainly a YouTuber. She's got funny dating stories and just like to see how other people live. Ed Milet is a, a coach or a motivational speaker. He speaks on circuit at all these rich and fancy conferences that I see online. And he is my age actually, and he keeps it real. His motivational speaking, he gets way too amped up and rah-rah and overly excited. But on his podcast when he's interviewing people, I love the questions and the stuff that he asks. Julia Christ is just a young girl. It's so funny. I'm going to show you two young girls that I follow. And I think I follow them because I wish in my younger days I was as free or I felt like I could do the things that these young girls do. And it makes me feel better about myself in retrospect, I guess. I'm not really sure. But the same with this next channel, Renee Amberg. This girl I've followed on YouTube for years, and it's just the day in the life. What's she cooking? What's she eating? How's she working out? Well, she's gone, she's grown up, obviously, and so now she's has she has a baby, a preemie baby. She has had a miscarriage, and now I think her last video right down here is she's announcing that she's pregnant again. And finally, for right now, show me tint. I love cars. I love NASCAR, and I love like car detailing and design. And this is a local company that does protective wraps and tint and this one actually tinted my car and did a protective wrap on the front of my car. I love him. He's gotten a lot more videos on his channel. There's not a, he doesn't put a lot, but you can see where it's kind of picked up in the thumbnail presentation of his, but he's a couple of miles from my house. They actually posted a job at their shop. They were looking for a front office worker like the secretary or the receptionist at the front, and I want that job so bad, but it's 9 to 6, and I just really can't commit nine to six i want to go in and just say hey i could work nine to four and i could help you with your youtube channel i just haven't got up the courage because i just don't know that i'm ready for full time like working every day but those are my youtube recommendations for right now i'd love to hear what yours are and if you'll comment or like this video and share what are some channels that you're watching some people have been sharing channels that they've been watching and they're super helpful so what are you watching